Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me on Miss Chitty 18. Um, today I have another haul for you guys because I got some item from um, Neyman Marcus when I was in uh, USA and uh, I purchased uh, Armani Ice to Kill products from this yes. store and I'm going to show you what I have and at the end of this I'm going to be doing a tutorial using this uh, uh, eyeshadows and everything so please stay tuned I'm gonna get started and show you the products all right I purchased two of these Armani eyes to kill Giorgio Armani eyes to kill silk shadows silk eyeshadows and these two are limited edition this is a box because when you see the limited edition products I think uh, they write it in this kind of bold letters like a big letters here and I have another one which is not limited edition that's a regular Armani I still silk eyeshadow and you can see the lettering it's different I think the limited edition ones have like a different uh, kind of pattern here and the regular one has a different one all right my first product um, this is Armani Eyes to Kill eyeshadow uh, number three. This is a silk eyeshadow. This is the one comes in this uh, kind of jar, and it's a glass jar and it's a black uh, lid. When you open the lid, it's like a screw kind of bottle, and there's a stopper in there, and it's a loose shadows. It looks like that. Uh, this is a really beautiful um, rose gold color because it has some uh, pink pigments and also gold pigments in it. I will show you. So, so that's the one. I'm going to swatch this for you. So that's the rose gold color number. Um, this is number 28. This is another one, Armani Eyes to Kill Silk Eyeshadow and this is in the color number 20. I will show you, okay. That's the same like a glass jar and this is also a limited edition. Like the other one that I showed you, that's the color. So you can see this is a beautiful emerald green color. And that's the swatch for it. I'm just going to swatch this for you. So that's the shadow. It's so creamy and blendable shadows. Today I'm going to be using uh, one of these shadow in my tutorial you can see. And I also picked up another one which is a regular collection and this is Armani I to kill number three and this color this is the glass jar and that's the lid you open it I will take out the stopper and this is what the color looks like this color is golden purple color you can see they have um, there is a um, purple and gold pigments in it I'm just going to show you the swatch so that's the swatch I will swatch that for you so that's number three that's not limited edition Okay, I'm going to use the one is not limited edition so that you can buy them in the store. It's the number three. Is this one purple? This is not limited edition. Okay, these two are limited edition. Rose gold and the emerald green one uh, limited edition and this one is not. This is number three. Okay. I really really love this eyeshadows because they are so creamy, blendable but you have to be really careful with it because these are loose pigments um, you will have some fallout so that's why um, I always do the eyes first before I do the foundation when I uh, want to apply this kind of shadows alright so be careful with it but it's really gorgeous you can see in the tutorial uh, this kind of texture is really close to the uh, the drugstore brand which is called the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. I will show you. That's uh, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and this is in the color number 037. 
and it's um, like this metallic lilac just going to swatch that for you and show you how the texture is close to this kind of shadows so that's the one from L'Oreal and I'm just going to swatch it for you I'm just going to swatch it beside the other purple you can see that's a bit lighter than the purple that I showed you from Armani I used to kill. So the light purple is from L'Oreal Infallible. So you can really dupe them, you know, you can't really um, dupe the colors because Armani I used to kill, they have great range of colors. But if you want to have some cheapest alternative, this is the way to go. Okay. Now I'm going to show you uh, Armani I used to kill. Uh, eye color trio I picked up this one because I really really like this kind of um, purple color and uh, this is the box as you can see and this is in the color uh, number three that's the box and okay that's the case and it says uh, Giorgio Armani I used to kill over here and when you open it I don't want to blind you because there is a mirror here and this is the color trio so you can see there is purple and um, the second color here is a silvery lilac uh, color and the one in the middle is uh, shimmery um, I mean silver shimmers on top of the um, black eyeshadow I really really love this color I will swatch that also for you really quickly okay so that's the purple black and the uh, silvery lilac so the two are the silver and a purple and i don't want to swatch the black you know it's just the black color i also heard so many good things all the time about this armani astical mascara and which i don't have so i bought it and this is Armani Ice to Kill Exceptional Volume Excess Mascara and this is the box and it's in the color number one it's black color and I'll show you the tube so that's the tube it says Armani Ice to Kill and this is in the color number one and I will show you the wand so that's the wand so you can see I've seen many um, mascara with this kind of ones but that's not uh, very unusual but I think the formula in this one is really great that's why this is giving me a very nice voluminous eyelashes when I apply this mascara all right I also picked up a lipstick this is um, Rouge Armani lasting silk lip color and this is in the color pink 514 this is the box and I'll show you the package um, this is Rouge D Armani lipstick as you can see this is the packaging and it's the tube that's the lipstick I'm going to swatch the lipstick here for you so that's the lipstick it's a beautiful pink color and this is very interesting because when you close it it's a magnet you can see it's a magnetic closure which is really good to take it in your handbag all right that's the end of my haul i hope you enjoyed it please if you like to see my tutorial please stay tuned i'm going to take you through step by step to show you that all right today i'm going to be using two different eye primers uh, okay first uh, I'm going to use this um, Too Faced shadow insurance glitter glue to my lid area and Urban Decay primer portion to my crease to the brow bone and also I'm going to use some underneath my lash line tip okay I'm going to take a tiny uh, amount of this uh, Too Faced um, glitter glue I'm going to uh, apply to the lid area and I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer portion to my 
a crease to the brow bone area. as well as underneath the lash line. I'm going to be using Armani Eyes to Kill um, Eyeshadow Trio in it's in the color number 3 and I'm going to be using Sigma's E45 crease brush to apply this. I'm going to take the purple color my crease brush and I'm going to um, apply to my crease area I'm applying a tiny bit to the outer corners as well just like that Now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever 16S crease brush. It's a very nice pointy crease brush and I'm going to define my crease with this. And I'm also going to take the middle color which is a black color with some shimmer in it. I'm going to apply this to the crease. I'm taking it in the tip and this is going to go on my crease. I'm just doing a back and forth motion to deposit the color to my crease. And I'm also applying some to the inner V area of my uh, outer eye. Okay, now I'm going to blend um, the eyeshadow with some of the purple eyeshadow in my um, Sigma's E45 brush. Take a tiny bit and I'm just going to blend this out. Just like that. Now I'm going to take um, Armani Eyes to Kill um, Silk Eyeshadow and this is in the color number 3. It's a beautiful purple color. Uh, I mean purple with some gold shimmer in it. Alright, now I'm going to take my Chanel's uh, Cream Eyeshadow Brush and it's number 27. I'm going to take this one in this um, brush and apply this to the uh, middle part of my lid where I applied the um, Too Faced uh, Glitter Goose Shadow Insurance. Alright, this eyeshadow uh, is really shimmery and uh, loose shadows I don't want fallout so that's why I applied the Too Faced shadow insurance to my middle part of my eye and I'm going to apply this now to the uh, middle part I'm just slowly slowly dabbing it because I don't want to have uh, so much fallouts going to apply another layer of it okay, just like that for my brow bone I'm going to be using a max naked lunch eyeshadow and I'm also going to take my Sigma's SS 252 um, brush I need to apply this to my inner corners as well but I'm going to do that uh, at the end after I apply my foundation. Alright now I'm going to apply uh, liner to my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to be using Urban Decay's 24-7 uh, liner in Pro Shine. I'm going to line my waterline and my tight line first. Take a tiny wing and connect it. I'm going to apply another eyeliner which is also from Urban Decay and it's Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil 
in ransom. I'm just going to apply this to the middle part of my eyelid. And underneath the black liner as well. Alright, now I'm going to apply some shadow to set this eyeliner. Okay, first I'm going to um, apply the purple color. And I'm also taking the Sigma's uh, crease brush. This is going to go to the middle part of my eyelid. As well as I'm going to take it down to the outer corners as well. To set the top lash line, I'm going to be using MAC, a Max Carbon Eyeshadow and I'm also taking uh, my Chanel's Eyeshadow Brush number 14. This is very tiny brush so that it, you can easily apply eyeshadow on top of this liner. Okay, I'm going to uh, curl my lashes now. I'm going to be using my Chanel's eyelash curler to curl my lashes. Okay, and I'm going to apply Armani Eye to Kill Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. Alright, now I'm going to apply some foundation. Today I'm going to be using my Chanel's Perfection Lumia Foundation and this is in the color 60 Beige and I'm going to apply with my Sigma's F80 Kabuki Brush. Just going to um, do one pump. Just going to apply some dots all over my face and blend it with my brush I'm going to do my eyebrows now I'm going to be using my Dior Show Brow Styler this is a universal color First, I'm going to brush my brow. Okay, just brush my eyebrows and uh, I'm going to fill in with the other side. It's a twistable pencil. I'm just going to uh, fill in this. Just doing like a hair growth like strokes. Now I'm going to set my brows. I'm going to be using my Anastasia uh, Brow Gel. Alright, now I'm going to contour my face. I'm going to be using Max Blunt Blush to contour. And I'm also going to use my Max 109 Contour Brush to apply this. underneath the chin I'm just going to contour my nose as well just a tiny bit for my cheeks I'm going to be using uh, Max Mineralize blush in Stratus um, this is from the Heavenly Creature collection and I'm also going to use my Chanel's Dio fiber brush this is actually a foundation blending brush this is really great for this kind of uh, mineralized blushes because this is really pigmented. I just need a tiny bit of it. Alright, now I'm going to blend the edges with my Chanel's Kabuki brush. Alright, 
now I'm going to highlight my inner corners of my eye. I'm going to be using um, the same eyeshadow Naked Lunch and I'm also taking the same E45 crease brush to apply this. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of it to the tip and apply it to the inner corner here. I'm underneath too. All right, for my lips, I'm going to be using um, Precision Lip Definer number 54. This is from Chanel. I'm just going to apply a tiny amount. I mean, just fill in the lips, outline it, and fill in the lips with this one. going to use a brush from the back uh, of this pencil and I'm just going to uh, even out the lips. Alright, for my lips I'm going to be using a gloss to it. Um, I'm going to be using my Chanel's uh, Allure X-Ray D Gloss and this is in the color True Blonde number 68. I'm just going to apply this to my lips. I need to clean up with the brush. I'm going to be using the same um, Chanel's brush from the back of the pencil. I'm going to nicely clean it up. All right, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make a comment, rate and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.